Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Kristen's Crosses for Sunday, November 26th, 2023, the Solemnity of Our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Universe. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. In a special way, we remember in prayer all the members of our Patreon community and those who have made a gift to support this channel. You can visit the description of this video for more information on ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. In, In the name, name of, of the, the Father, Father, and of, of the, the Son, and, and of, of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Almighty ever-living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe. Grant, we pray, that the whole creation set free from slavery may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Today's Gospel reading is from Matthew, chapter 25, verses 31 through 46. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne, and all the nations will be assembled before him. And he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. A stranger, and you welcomed me naked, and you clothed me, ill, and you cared for me, in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen. I say to you, Whatever you did for one of these least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or ill or in prison and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen. I say to you, what you did not do for one of these least ones, you did not do for me. And these will go off to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection In today's parable, the central message is pretty clear, that our faith is authenticated by our actions, particularly how we respond to those in need. Jesus identifies himself with the hungry, the thirsty, the stranger, the naked, the sick, and the prisoner. And in doing so, he profoundly unites himself with the suffering and the marginalized, making our response to them a direct reflection of our relationship with him. Pope Francis, in his persistent advocacy for the poor and the marginalized, echoes this message when he said, You pray for the hungry, then you feed them. That's how prayer works. And this statement reminds us that our faith calls us not to just spiritual acts, but to concrete action in service of those who are in need. And the Pope's words remind us that Prayer and action are inseparable in the Christian life. This parable also challenges our perception of God's judgment. It suggests that God's criteria are not based solely on religious piety alone, but on love and mercy expressed in practical ways. 
And this perspective invites us to a deeper self-examination. Do our lives reflect the kind of love and mercy that Jesus is speaking about? Or are we attentive to the needs of those who are around us? Moreover, this passage invites us to see Christ in everyone we meet, especially the least and the forgotten. It calls us to a radical hospitality and generosity that extends beyond our comfort zones and those conventional boundaries of our everyday lives. So as we reflect on this passage and as we approach this season of Advent next week, let's be challenged and inspired to live out our faith through acts of love and service. Let's challenge ourselves to see the face of Christ in all people and recognize that our path to holiness is absolutely linked to how we treat the vulnerable and the needy among us. And so today, let's pray that our lives will be a testament to the mercy and compassion that Christ is calling us to embody, reflecting our commitment to Him and our care for our fellow human beings. We invite you to continue praying with us. Please click on the video link for today's prayers. It includes today's rosary in a series of daily Catholic prayers.